Yo, what is going on guys? In today's video, we are going to be focused on the best 7 star in MCOC, which is of course Onslaught, the homie here. And the really cool thing about Onslaught as well is he has the highest prestige in the game. So 7 star rank 1, 7 star rank 2, then 7 star rank 3, Onslaught takes over. What if we put 2 all? Yeah, Onslaught's still the highest. But Onslaught is the highest prestige champion in the game. He's even, he's even above Surfer, which is pretty crazy. So, you know, eventually, you definitely want to get him up to uh, save 200. So, I have some really cool Battlegrounds gameplay to show you guys. But, but before we do that, we're going to jump into some Necropolis here. This is the Atuma in Necropolis. We're going to go fight this guy and have a little fun. So, let's go ahead and get started with that. I do have a little synergy. We have uh, the Red Skull synergy. So what that does is it allows us to heal from physical damage that we take, like 90% of it or something like that. Because Atuma here, um, Onslaught's really great for Atuma, but not all of his attacks are safe. So you do need to be a little bit careful. For example, Onslaught's heavy attack is completely safe. His first medium attack is completely safe. But I believe like his last light attack, he'll take all the damage. So you gotta be careful. Yeah, man, Onslaught just so good for Atuma. Such a good counter. I think we do need to be careful, though. And after his specials, make sure we're parrying. Alright. Oh, we only have 15 Neuroshock at the moment. Uh... Alright, it's okay. Okay. Just have to get in the routine of not punishing those. Which is a little tricky, honestly. Okay, we're gonna go for special one. Should have maxed out the neuro shock. Okay though. Okay, let's get rid of the unstoppable. Throw the striker. We've got the sinister relic, so that does give us a, a little bleed debuff every time we utilize it, which is really nice because onslaught heals from bleed. Okay, now we can go like that. There we go. There's 20 of our DJs now. That's better. Free to throw your special buddy. There we go. Oh no 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 no. Okay, we're okay. Alright, we're good, we're good. I'm just gonna throw this. It's fine if he's blocking it. All good. Alright, we're just gonna keep throwing special ones because that triggers the daunted effects. So that makes the DJ just go crazy for the duration of those specials. Oh, nice little triple heavy there. Beautiful. We're stacking so many Neuroshock. We got 47 Neuroshock right now. That's wild. Striker, get some bleed, pop that. Alright, parry, pop that. Nice, looking good. Nice, little cheeky double heavy attack in there. Beautiful. Okay, that's parry. Nice, another special one. And he's dropping fast. Like, each special one, you can see, like, multiple percentages just coming off. That's awesome. Alright, let's go heavy special one. Oh my goodness. Yeah, like, he was at, like, 33% at the start of that special. And then by the end, he was at, like, 29. That's awesome. Right, let's just go like that. Like that. 
All right, let's parry. All right, let's see if we can get him below 20% here. 22, 21, 20, 19, there we go. Oh my goodness. It's so much damage. Ooh, another special one. <laughs> Dude, oh my gosh. Big chef onslaught here. Oh, should not have hit him there. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take a light hit here. Let's see how much damage we take. Okay, it wasn't that bad. Bad, because the synergy's healing us, so it's not, not too bad. Okay, we do need a heavy though, or our degens are gonna expire. There we go. Boom! That is a Tuma in Necropolis solo. I'm pretty sure I tried this fight with my six star ascended, and I don't think I was able to. Um, just because, you know, like I ran out of time in the, with the charges and everything, but seven star rank three onslaught, no problem at all. A little bit under five minutes. Nice. That was awesome. So we're going to go ahead now and jump over to some battlegrounds gameplay. I have about like five or six fights. Um, a lot, I've, the main champ that I used onslaught to counter last season was, was bullseye. Um, so I have like a bunch of that fight. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show, really sure you guys too. Two bullseye fights that went pretty good against three bullseye. A couple other fights. The main reason why I don't have just like a, a ton of onslaught gameplay is because you know he is primarily, well not primarily, but he's he's really good on defense, and he was really 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 good on defense last med because they just got like a shock debuff. Onslaught start with a shock, like you just get a ton of neuroshock shock, and it's crazy. So. Let's go ahead and jump to some Battlegrounds gameplay, and then I think I might have something else special, more gameplay of Ranked Round Slide at the end. So stay tuned for that. Let's go. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into some Battlegrounds gameplay. So we're gonna go ahead and start with uh, some Rank 3 Bullseye. So this is a Rank 3 Bullseye off. My Rank 3 Bullseye is on defense. He's running a fully maxed up six star Kushala, and he has an unduped Rank 3 Bullseye down on D here. We got to Juan in four PGs. He's a good dude. And yeah, he started out crushed here, which is great for us. <laughs> uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and block this. And you know, this is an, an example of where Onslaught's Awakening ability would come in handy. You know, for example, if, if Bullseye just happened to have the unblockable, you know, from the node, Onslaught would be fine against that because he can block unblockable special attacks from skill champions. So you know, the Awakening ability definitely does have some utility, but it's more so just to look cool. That's That was the main reason I got it. And, and for prestige for the future. <laughs> But uh, this bullseye fight's going extremely well. Uh, as you'll see, I, I I don't think I even threw a special one. I just went straight to special two. And then here, gonna throw this. My DJ is expiring. I didn't lock it in, but he dies. So sometimes against bullseye, I will go for a special one and special two. Sometimes I'll just rip right to a special two. And now you can see that's almost 51,000 points against rank three bullseye. You know, pretty solid. We're gonna have one more rank three bullseye fight in this video. Okay, up next here we have a rank 2 Korg. So this was against Stonehenge. This guy has a massive account. Um, it's funny because like towards the end of the season, I faced him like probably like four times or something, and he beat me like the last four times. Uh, and every time you know, I matched him, I would just be like, oh, this guy's roster so big. He's beaten me last few times. I didn't even know that I had beaten him. Like I thought, I didn't think I'd beat him, beaten him all season. And then I was looking back at some of these videos, and in this match, I did beat him. I was like, oh, I guess he's not unbeatable. <laughs> um, but yeah, this was against uh, his rank two core. I thought it was rank two core, but it's only rank two. Um, uh, but yeah, you know, whether it was rank two or rank three, the result would pretty much be the same because you know, once onslaught gets all set up, he starts to do so much damage towards the end. Like, the additional rank wouldn't really matter. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely really do like Onslaught for Korg. I like Onslaught for like any of the big skill champs. The only skill champ I don't love Onslaught for is Nick Fury. And that's not to say he's bad against Nick Fury. I do have a Nick Fury fight, uh, in this video, but you know, Nick Fury, he's just, he's not the best Nick Fury counter, you know, because Nick has two lives. Onslaught can't really do anything about those two lives. He just has to go through both of them. So it's not the fastest, but, uh, yeah, this is the first time I beat Stonehenge, I guess. Um, and he had a really nice Prowler versus Sassy fight. I, I remember later on in the season, I ended up fighting Andy Sassy with my Prowler. And it was all because I saw him do this. Uh, I would never even have tried a Prowler versus Sassy fight if I had not seen that. I was like, wow, that was a really nice fight. Um, all right, moving on. 
we have a sassy. <laughs> Speaking, speak of the devil. Uh, here is a rank three sassy. So onslaught is pretty good against sassy. He's definitely not bad. So I love about onslaught is he can pretty much do like just about any matchup. You know, like champions that usually require a counter and have a ton of health, like Sasquatch, Maestro. Onslaught can do both of them. You know, he can't, he doesn't do them the best, but he just can. They're like there's not much onslaught can't do, which is what I really really love about him. Just he's so versatile. Like, Onslaught's pretty much probably my most drafted champ in my entire deck in, in, in any given meta. Because, like, pretty much in any given meta, he's always going to be a defender, and usually he has good matchups on attack, too. You know, like, I just, I love Onslaught so much, bro. So happy to be making this video today. Uh, so, yeah, just go ahead and do a little heavy counter uh, right there and then heavy counter to special two into my special two we only have 15 dgens that's pretty good you know 20 is the max but 15 is still super solid uh and he's just not triggering wrath i'm like bro come on hurry up and trigger wrath he's at 10 charges 11 finally he triggers wrath luckily he threw that special right before wrath triggered so he didn't get the unstoppable passive so i was able to easily heavy special chain and boom look at sassy just freaking drop here i probably should have thrown my special right there <laughs> and right here i get hit a little bit mess up the full yellow bar but it's still good enough to win so you know like forty-eight thousand points against rank 3 sassy that's not bad you know it's not the best counter out there but it's good you know it's definitely good okay so up next we have another uh bullseye face off now my opponent is using a rank 6 archangel i am going to be sticking with my tried and true onslaught because I found Kushala to be super difficult against Bullseye the last meta because, you know, if Bullseye gets a buff, the rich get richer starts going and, like, he'll go above a bar of power at the worst possible moment with Kushala and he'll evade you and it's terrible. But Onslaught, he's just he so good for Bullseye the entirety of last season. Uh, this fight, I do throw the special one first. You can see we've stacked up 20 now of those Neuroshocks. So... Boom, gonna go ahead like this, do a striker, into a heavy, into a big fat special two here. Look at those 20 degens. Bullseye is dead. That one I think is 51,000 points. 51,640 points against a rank three bullseye, man. 40 seconds flat. Pretty good. That's probably my best bullseye fight of all last season. So here next up, we do have the Nick Fury fight. Like I said, it's it's not the worst matchup, but it's definitely not the best. I can think of so many better Nick Fury counters that aren't even of the mutant class. You know, like Juggernaut, Penny. Um, I was gonna say Danny, but she she is of the mutant class. Um, Hulkling, great Nick counter. But yeah, also he's definitely not too too bad. Uh, here we do have to deal with the rich get richer, and you know Nick Fury usually have a buff at least with his Fury. Plus, if he gets any from the Node, he's probably going to be getting some power gain. Uh, here I got some bleed from uh, the Node, which is pretty nice. So just chilling at full health. Throw my special two here. We both get regen, which is fine. <laughs> uh, and yeah, this fight is the first half. Of this fight is almost over. There we go. Parry and Dex that. He's now into his second life. So, you know, at this point, I'm like, hmm, what do I want to do? I'm like, I think I'll just go straight for special three. Like, regardless of how many Neuroshock we have, you know, just the, the a few degens plus the actual damage from the special two itself should be enough. So here, just do a little striker, heavy, into special two. And yeah, this is, this is overkill. He's dead. And you know, it's not bad. Full health, you know, 66 seconds. Not too bad. 49,456. Like, it's, it's not bad but could definitely be faster against Nick. And then one final Battlegrounds fight, again versus Stonehenge. This was when I just couldn't beat him. Uh, and it, So here we have a rank three Mole Man. So I was like, rank three Mole Man, what? Like this is a, a good, great defender, you know, for, for Onslaught, but it's kind of weird because, you know, Mole Man, like right there, he didn't shrug the stunt. And then right there, <laughs> hit this blog and stuff, I'm like, bro. And then right there, my heavy doesn't connect. And, I, and, and then here, I just throw a special. Like, I am already all over the place on this fight. Um, I sh 
Oh, it's just such an odd start. I don't know, man. I, I rarely fight Mole Man, and it, it just didn't work exactly. I've never fought a Mole Man with Onslaught, and just, it wasn't working the way I thought it would. Like, he just wasn't shrugging as fast as I wanted him to, which is definitely throwing me off. So I wasted, like, so much time at the start, you know, getting set up. I wasted a special, too. I also took a lot of damage. Luckily, I've been able to heal up most of the damage that we took. But you see, like, right there, I thought I would get the extended pause, and I didn't. Luckily, it didn't matter because he's dead, but I took too long, and I lost. I was three seconds too long, man. I wasted three seconds too much at the start of that fight, and we lost. Red Skull almost lost that. So that's all the Battlegrounds gameplay I have for you guys for Onslaught at the moment, but I still have three more pretty cool fights to show you guys. So these fights are in the Spring of Sorrow Gauntlet. So, this was, you know, when I was, uh, on that day that I sold every single fight with Spot. I think before I did that, I was screwing around with Onslaught. Um, and I definitely couldn't do every fight with Onslaught. Like, I mean, if I, you know, kept trying for hours, I'm sure eventually I could. But the Viv fight, I was not having fun with that using Onslaught. So, I just gave up. But this was my very first attempt on two fights in Spring of Sorrow. Uh, Iron Fist and Gwenpool. So apparently I was talking to MSD and I was like, yo, MSD, like, Onslaught is really good for, for Iron Fist. And he's like, ah, he's a, he's like, ah, not really. Like, he used to be way better. And I was like, what are you talking about? I'm like, bro, like, I just sold the Iron Fist with Onslaught on my first try. Like, he's really good. Like, what do you mean he, he was better before or something? I was like, I was so confused. And so apparently Onslaught used to be even better for this fight because he would parry it's my understanding he would be applying a passive stun before but then that got changed and now that doesn't happen but so i didn't even know that but even without knowing that going into this fight dude onslaught was really impressing me because you know there's just so much power from all these block hits that you know it's so easy to get set up and then once you're set up you know more specials more specials you know means more uh, damage with the Daunted and everything. Uh, plus, you know, with Onslaught, you want to be heavying the opponent frequently. And there's Ebb and Flow Knockdown here. So, like, it's just, it's, I just love it. Onslaught is so, so good for this fight, man. Um, yeah, I was just absolutely loving him. Here we see a beta heavy. There we go. Counter with my heavy. Save those, all those stacks of degen. You know, even worst case scenario, all those degen fall off. It's not going to take much to get them back, you know, with, with all the power that we're getting from these blocked hits wouldn't even be too bad and so here we're gonna go for another little heavy attack boom heavy another heavy throw my special two here and that's iron fist cooked uh, again literally my very first try of onslaught versus iron fist that was the result it was i think under two minutes i was like wow and i was like okay you know class advantage let's go try gwenpool too you see i have bullseye on my team i think originally i was trying out bullseye in here i think with this run, my goal might have been to try to get to the Jessica and to see how Bullseye would do against that fight. Um, but yeah, I, I abandoned Bullseye. I he, he wasn't feeling too great in here. That's why there hasn't been any Bullseye in Spring Sorrow content. Uh, just spot so far, and might be some more. I, I have a couple of champs. I might want to show you guys. So here, start of this fight, I end up eating the special one, which is normally really bad because uh, you'll die if you don't do a light ending combo, which I do there. But, you know, it kind of ended up working out because now that, that, um, in, it, I can't speak, that incinerates, you know, basically was applying those passive Neuroshocks to Gwenpool. So I didn't even have to throw a special one and we're already at 20 stacks of degen. So we're just, we're already instantly set up. And again, this fight is similar to the Iron Fist one in the fact that there's so much power. There's Matador here. So every time Gwenpool throws a special attack, I get a full bar. A full bar of power. Dude, look look at her health. She was just at like 64. By the end of this special attack, she's at 48. Like, that's one special one. All the Daunted and Degen are just start going crazy, bro. It is. It's nutty. And look how many Neuroshock I have right now. 31. All my Degens just fell off. Guess what? I don't care. It don't matter, because look at this. Look at this. Striker, heavy. Oh, my DGEN's back. There we go. <laughs> no big deal. And we still have 15 stacks of Neuroshock. So, 
double worst case scenario, all my degens fall off again, guess what? I can get them all back easily. It's no biggie. It's no biggie, but here I'm gonna save them, throw a special one, and Gwenpool's just dead! Like, my very first try, easily soloing two Spring of Sorrow effects with Onslaught. Like, what? I, I think that one was... Hold on, let's see the time on that. Let me hide my webcam for a second here. Uh, what does that say? A minute 38! A minute 38 seconds! Like, dude... Uh, and so this fight was not my first attempt. I think it was my third technically because I restarted my game too. Uh, but the first time I think I don't think I had the, the Odin pre-fights when I got here. Uh, but this time I do. So final fight that we're going to be uh, doing with Onslaught in this video. So right there, messed up. I dexed. Shouldn't have done that. Should have parried. But yeah, here we have Onslaught versus Annihilus. So I, I really had no idea how this fight was going to go. I was so happy with with onslaught's performance against the iron fist and the gwenpool and turns out onslaught works pretty darn well for annihilus too because he's triggering those passive stunts i'm not even entirely sure why that's happening here uh and it's not happening like all the time like you see there that that was a stun debuff that one was a stun passive so if any of you guys know the explanation why that's working that way let me know but um, I, I didn't really care about the reason, you know, I more so cared about the interaction. And I'm like, okay, I like this. <laughs> I'm going to be trying to take full advantage of that. And yeah, I feel like this fight can definitely work. Because if we have a passive stun with Onslaught, you know, that makes just pausing everything so much easier. So much easier. Uh, there is a heal block note here, which is, you know, kind of unfortunate. Because we're not able to heal from our, our striker, bleed from Sinister, or any other debuffs. But it's fine. It's all good. You can see we're, we're doing quite a bit of damage. We have our 19 stacks of degen up now. We'll make a passive stun. Pause those. And we're chilling. You know, the, the main thing that you just kind of have to be careful of is to not get baited. What I mean by that is, you know, you, you parry and then instantly have you like right there. I parry and I wait to see what it is. If it's a debuff or a passive. Um, because I don't want the short pause. I, I only want the long pause. I don't want my DJ to fall off. It's not like the Iron Fist and Gwenpool fight where it's super duper easy to get him back. It's not. It wouldn't be that hard to get all my DJ back, but still, I don't want to deal with it here. But like, look at look at Annihilus' health, man. He's almost dead already. We've we've just been chatting, and look at this guy. He's almost dead. So here, I think I'm just gonna am I gonna bait this or am I gonna go for it here? Looks like I'm going to go for a striker, maybe. Yeah, there we go, striker. Get the little pause, push my special too, but it doesn't matter because Annihilus is just dead. Guys, that is all the gameplay I have for you for my first Onslaught Rank 3 Awakened Showcase. Maybe there'll be another one, I don't know. I love Onslaught so much, so it's definitely a possibility that there will be multiple more just Onslaught uh loving videos and praising him as the best seven star uh like the the only champion you know that i really foresee coming for that spot of the best seven star is going to be deathless thanos because that is like a multi-year journey to be to getting that character and kabam has already given us the guarantee that it's going to be a meta relevant champion so that's like the only champion i, I foresee being able to come for this for onslaught spot like a, a deathless thanos would be pretty crazy but for right now until we see that onslaught's the king of seven stars for me uh, i love him so much and if you guys are curious about the stat focus at all we're running crit rate on attack to try to get more neuroshocks to apply and then physical resistance on defense because that is one of onslaught's weaknesses physical damage so champions like spot werewolf that's part of the reason why they work so well for onslaught is because they deal all physical you know rupture damage which is going to deal the most damage to onslaught so just running that physical resistance helps him to stay a bit tankier help him to stay a bit sturdier on defense that is going to go ahead and do it for this onslaught video i really hope you guys enjoyed it. i had a ton of fun making this one and just every time i'm talking about onslaught using him i'm just having fun he's one of my favorite champs in the whole game i know he's a lot of you guys favorite champs too so i really hope you enjoyed this video if so drop a thumbs up share this video with your alliance mates subscribe for more content thank you so much for watching peace